you're watching NCC Tech TV. I'm your host, Tanisha Wood, and today we have a great episode for you. First, NCC Tech TV reporter Sarah Parody will interview two of Nicholson's new teachers. Then we will get to know NC student and YouTuber Chi. Finally, we'll head downtown Belva where NCC Tech TV reporter Sarah Parody will interview one of the owners of Bourbon and Bean Cafe. First, we will head over to Sarah Parody who will be interviewing one of Nicholson's new teachers. Thanks, Tunisha. I'm Sarah Parody and we're back at NCC Tech TV for our second episode. Uh, and I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Shannon here uh, about his role here at Nicholson and some of his past history. So, Mr. Shannon, what's your role here at Nicholson? I am the English and History teacher. At Nicholson, I have a grade 10 history class and two grade 12 English classes. How long have you been teaching here at Nicholson, or just in teaching in general? So I've been teaching for about four years now. This is my second semester at Nicholson. And we know you were a student here at NCC. How has it affected where you are now? Yeah, I mean, my time at Nicholson um, as a student, I really enjoyed. Um, I had a lot of great teachers along the way, Ms. Lassard, Ms. McGrath, Mr. McCabe. Um, and it was kind of in those classes that I learned that I wanted to be a teacher myself. Um, so Nicholson had a huge impact on me, you know, kind of following that path. And then it's kind of great to be back here, kind of see it on the other end. How do you think Nicholson has changed in the way of the architecture and or just the way of the, of the teaching styles? Yeah, I, I think that it's changed a lot. All the teachers here are continually, you know, they're staying up to date. They're always innovating. Um, you know, they're staying current on, on kind of new ways that they can be teaching their students. Um, but even just from the school itself, like it's changed a lot since I was here. Um, the Learning Commons looks completely different. We have the Maker Lab, um, you know, the pilot room in 110. So it's all the kind of these cool, new, interesting ways to keep students interested in trying to reach as many students as we can. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how that change has happened. Now to look back in time a bit, we were wondering where your previous locker was. So, um, well back when I was here we didn't have home rooms, so we changed our lockers every year. So I had one on every floor at some point, but my grade 12 locker was um, along the wall of the Providence Gym on first floor, right across from, basically right across from room 110. Thank you Mr. Shannon for your time today. Thanks, Sarah and Mr. Shannon. Now for an exclusive interview, we will head over to the Learning Commons where Sarah will interview Ms. McGrath, one of the teachers who had a great impact on Mr. Shannon. Mr. Shannon said that you were one of his role models um, and inspired him to become a teacher. How does that make you feel as a teacher? Well, to start, um, I would say that I'm honored to think that uh, he perceives me in that way, and I'm thrilled to be teaching with him um, right now. Um, as a teacher, as an you're always trying to bring out the best in your students and um, as an English teacher you're trying to inspire a love of, of reading, of literature. Um, and so the fact that one of your teacher, one of your students um, decides to become an English teacher um, is heartwarming because it does make you feel like you've touched them in some way. Sarah will now interview one last teacher for today, Mr. Cathcart. Back to you, Sarah. What's your role here at Nicholson? What do you do? So my role at NCC, I'm the uh, grade 12 sociology teacher, and I also teach two periods of civics and careers. So I have a couple periods of grade 10s in the afternoon. And how long have you been teaching here at Nicholson? And how long have you been teaching in general? I started teaching in 2015 in England, actually, and then spent a year there and came back to this school board the year after. So it's been about close to four years at this point. I've just started at Nicholson in February, so I'm just sort of uh, figuring things out here and I'm enjoying it here so far. We know that you're a graduate of Nicholson. We were wondering how that's affected you today in your current job. Yeah, I think as a graduate of Nicholson, what was great was that we have, there's so many great teachers here that inspired us to want to do this. And I think um, you can see that in, in some of the teachers that are still here today that taught me. Miss um, Lassard taught me English, I think, three different years, and Mr. Quilty in science. And uh, some of the old teachers, my old geography teacher, Mr. Cornick, was a big inspiration. But I think what's what's really stuck with me as far as Nicholson goes is the sense of community that's here. And that's something that I, I really like to kind of instill in, in my teaching is a sense of community in the classroom, but also um, outside with, with sports teams and clubs. I think that we've got a good tradition of community here at Nicholson. Uh, and then we wanted to take a look back at your old locker here. My locker, my locker in grade 12, I believe it is on third floor, kind of just outside of Mr. O'Reilly's room. I think that's 314. Um, yeah, thinking back, it's tough to remember because you kind of move around each year, but third floor. 
Thanks, Sarah, for the great story. Now let's get to know NCC student and YouTuber, Chi. I'm Sarah Parody, and I'm here at NCC Tech TV with Chi. He's a student here at Nicholson Catholic College, and he's going to tell us a little about his uh, hobbies and about where he's from. So the first one, I come from Vietnam, like a little part in Asia. My hobby is like to be a filmmaking, yeah, and I like to produce videos. So Chi, uh, what was the main reason you are into filmmaking? It is because when I was a kid, there's some vloggers, he uh, inspired me. Then after a few years when I grow up like this, I'm going to international students like he used to be. So Chi, what was the main reason that you came to Canada? Uh, the main reason I came to Canada is my parent and I decided that I can have can like proceed the uh, Vietnam education system and it's pretty hard to me because uh, to get in university everything is going to be so intense. So Chi, we know that you're a YouTuber. Uh, what materials do you use to like make your content? So the first time I'm used the v to make my content is I'm writing a note into notebook. That is the script for doing videos, then I don't have, actually right now I don't have any cameras or recording tools. At those time I use my iPhone 6, as you guys can see here, so it's like a 16 gigabyte, so I save a lot of place in this, <laughs> this boy. <laughs> yeah, it's time, it's, it's hard. Then uh, I met my new friend, he is from China, he is, this is his camera, not mine. You guys can see that, right? So this is how we camera. I have my computers, and this is the most time I'm editing on these computers. Oh, I have an iPad for writing script too. Then uh, I met a new teacher from contact class. His name is Mr. McLean. He very kind teacher. He like gave me um, what? Lots of help. Yeah, lots of help. Like I borrowed him a camera, tripod. Even this microphone in my bag too. Nice, Mr. McLean. Nice. So, Chi, what's some uh, inspiring advice that you give to any uh, new YouTuber out there? So, when you have passion, you can do anything you you never think of. Good advice, Chi. Thank you. I'm Sarah Parody at NCC Tech TV with Chi here. Thanks for the great story. Now we will head downtown Belleville to Bourbon and Bean Cafe. Hi, I'm Sarah Parody and I'm here at NCC Tech TV. And we're here at Bourbon and Bean interviewing Kara today. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kara. Uh -huh. And we're going to have a few questions that we're going to ask Kara today. So, Kara, uh, what is Bourbon and Bean specifically? It's a pretty unique business, I would say. Um, it's a cafe by day, uh, and then we're a whiskey bar by night. But we also do our own specialty cocktails, so we come up with the recipes ourselves, and then we do lunch, dinner, and we do a Sunday brunch as well. So I see, like, currently right now, you have a lot of, like, different range of customers, but what would you say your typical customer is? So... Like, that's the thing. We don't have a typical customer here, but it's also the beauty of our business. Like, most places you go, even if it's just a cafe, like, everybody drinks coffee, right? But cafes, they have, like, their own identity where you'll walk in one cafe and it's, like, all teenagers and it's a very young, sort of hip atmosphere going on. A lot of sugary drinks on the menu. Um, you walk into another cafe and they're, like, pushing espresso and they're an older clientele, uh, maybe they offer breakfast, um, but we're so different. Like we, we get, you know, people from high school come in a lot, 
uh, on their way to school or to lunch. We get older people. We get every age. I mean, there's something here for everyone. So I think that that makes a huge difference. We noticed that you have a lot of like uh, artistic drawings around here, and they're very like very detailed. Do you or Shane do that yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I actually do them. And it's funny because when we first opened, I like promised everybody that I wasn't going to put any of my art here because I was like, oh, that's so tacky, and here I am. <laughs> now I'm drawing on the walls. <laughs> what is Handshake Society? Um, so it just comes back to kind of an older way of thinking and like an older way of getting to know and talking to people. We knew that when we opened, we kind of set out to become a place for the people, so to speak. Um, so what I mean is uh, I really wanted people to come here to get to know each other. I'm your host, Sarah Parody, and I'm here at NTC Tech TV, and I want to thank Kara here for all her time and energy. And if you mention Tech TV here at Berman and Bean for the month of April, you'll get a dollar off your coffee. Thank you very much. What a great story. Thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe to Cheese YouTube channel.